Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel for day nine of the 30 days of clay throughout July. Thank you so much for everyone who has been tuning in for this series so far. I really, really appreciate it. If making things out of clay is your cup of tea, whether it be air dry clay like today's DIY, polymer clay, other types of clay, for example, then definitely stay tuned because this will definitely 100% be the series for you. And I'm posting every day throughout the July for the 30 days of clay. So hopefully you enjoy today's video. I'm very, very happy with how it's come out. Like I said, this is an air dry clay tutorial, not something I tend to work with usually because it does get quite messy and there is a long waiting time in between, but I think it was worth it for this piece. I'm so excited to have this in my collection now and I'm gonna be putting this pride of place on my shelves. If you're like me, I like Samiko Karashi things if you like air dry tutorials then definitely leave any requests you have down in the comments down below i know a few people have requested some Grashi items already but this one here was already in the work so very happy to you know give you guys something that you are looking for so definitely leave any requests that you have down in the comments down below for the 30 days of clay as i would love to take on some of your requests thank you so much for tuning in and i'm just going to get stuck straight on into how i made this little cake slice this DIY really was a two-part kind of DIY because I had to do the sculpting quite a few days before because obviously we had to allow it to air dry. So I ended up taking a big wedge of the air dry clay. This is the, the Daz clay, just the, the regular white one that you get in the packet for like three or four pounds. I just pop this down onto a silicone mat as to protect my desk, make sure it doesn't get covered in clay. And I just kind of, yeah, had a little wedge of that in a triangle shape and hollowed it out. Made sure to smooth out all of the inside as well. And then I cut another triangle piece rounding that out so that that would make the lid using a mini hinge i just kind of placed that down into place where like i wanted that to blend into the clay i did add some screws in at this point as well just like poke them in as little connectors didn't really screw them but that's what i did on the bottom half I'll show you that a little bit more in detail and then I just went to town with decorating so I created a line all the way around and like kind of fluffed up the bottom to make it look like I had like a biscuit base I added on some little like whipped cream bits I added on some little marked out strawberry parts which I thought would be fun to add a little bit of extra detailing on I then added a half ball to the top to make the tapioca and then added some more kind of clay details I then sculpted just some really simple strawberry shapes and like I said I did leave this to dry for around about three to four days because they were quite thick pieces of clay. Once I was completely sure they were completely dry, it was then time to move on to painting. This is where the kind of fun began for me. I don't like the messiness of air dry clay that much. It just gets everywhere, especially with long nails. Um, but the painting side, oh, that is definitely a bit of me. So I ended up painting it in a really, really nice pale yellow. I did actually go back in and make this even paler in person, like off camera, because I thought that that was a little bit too yellow that I went in with to begin with. Then I ended up painting the top icing part in pink because I thought that would be cute with the pink tapioca. It would match really well. I just painted in all the details basically in the colours that they should be. It did take quite a while with the icing and everything like that because it was obviously so close to the tapioca little dude itself but you know it's patience is virtue it worked out when it came to painting on the strawberries i painted all of these in at the same time so the 3d strawberries for the inside the strawberry of the tapioca and the strawberry slices so that they were all the exact same color then moved on to the detail on the strawberries so the strawberry that the tapioca was holding at the top basically just had some dots on for the seeds and the green bit on the top like the ones on the sides um and then the sliced ones had the little color detailing like that when it came to the strawberries that were going inside i did paint the face on in white to begin with but when i put the seeds on it looked too similar so i did have to go back in and change all of that for the final details of paint i just went in and painted the tapioca's face on and once the tapioca's face was dry i just glazed the whole thing in the liquitex high gloss varnish which i'll leave in the description down below the challenge of attaching this part to that one i would ordinarily just screw it in but I think that might crack the clay I don't know so do you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna glue it this down here anyway I just pushed the screws into the clay I probably should have done that to the top side as well before it dried um but I think some glue here really really strong glue will work out just nice so I'm just gonna do that you know so let's just do some super glue and I'm just gonna put this right where i think it lines up that works out really good all right i'm just going to leave that set and then we'll put the little strawberries inside oh, look how cute this is okay so the hinge is now all dried it's all working look at the glaze on this doesn't this look so cute and shiny 
I just absolutely love that. So inside the cake, look at this. <laughs> it was strawberries. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Look how cute they are as well. I've glazed these individually as well with the same glaze that I used on the whole of the piece. These are just in one coat, so it worked out really, really nicely. And on the whole piece, I did put three coats in total. So yeah, the piece itself is like really, really protected and these are just put one on. I thought it would be fine because they're being secure and stuff inside the little cake anyway. That's how I'm going to store it on my little shelves. I really, really love this. Do I dare say how long this took me in total? No, like just the sculpting took me an hour and a half, um, which is insane. So I'm definitely going to be keeping this as a piece for myself, but just because it took so long. And yeah, look at the little strawberries all cozied up in there. I think it's adorable. The only thing I would change is probably obviously putting the screws in before kind of um, leaving that air dry. That might have been a bit tricky. Gluing it is just fine. It's very secure on there. Like it's fine. Um, but the other thing is that it doesn't quite match up at the end here. Like in person, it's quite visible because I didn't sand down this middle part of the cake so much. I seem to have like flattened this side down, but this one here is either raised or something. Um, so that just like captures on the front there. So like, yeah, it's not too bad. It's not too noticeable. And it definitely looks like it can be open then when it's on a desk because it looks to be slightly separate. But yeah, overall, very, very happy with it. Loving the cream details. Loving the strawberry, obviously, on there, on the sides and then on the inside as well. I think it connects really, really well. So hopefully you have enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If air dry clay tutorials are more your thing, then definitely let me know. If it's a more interactive type, let me know on that because I could do some with polymer clay as well. But yeah, very happy with this. Did it take me a long time? Yes, but to be honest, it was worth it. Definitely a weekend kind of um, project to take on. So I would highly recommend saving this video and maybe doing this over a weekend yourself. But yeah, thanks so much for tuning in. I will come back tomorrow for another video for day 10 of the 30 days of clay. <laughs>